Hello booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I am coming to you with part four of my Harlequin bookshelf shelves tour. Um, in this one, this one and number five, the fifth um, uh, video of this series, are all going to be the desire novels. Um, I decided to start breaking them up that way because it just worked out well. The first two videos that I did were on, of course, the American romance novels. The third video, the one that came out last Friday, was on all of the Blaze books that I owned, and now I own a fair number more of the Desire books, so I am splitting these ones into two videos. So going forward, this this will probably be the case where, especially stuff like the special edition, because I have so many of them, that might even be in like three or four part videos. So we shall see, but um, yay, I am super excited about this. So I did say this is number four, but I think I might title it like Desire books number one or something, just so... In case going forward, I, I might rename the other ones as well, that if you're looking for something specific, like a specific line, you'll be able to find it. But I do have a, um, a playlist of my um, bookshelf tours. So this should all be in one playlist and I'll make sure to add the other ones. So if you want to watch them all, you absolutely can. But anyway, enough chatting. Let's get into the book. So, of course, we're starting with some of my oldest, like, we're doing these in numerical order or in publication order or whatever you want to call it. So the first one, I do actually own the first Desire novel, and that is Corporate Affair by Stephanie James. This is actually a pen name for Jane Ann Krantz, who I think she has a fair number of pen names, but that's who Stephanie uh, James is. And like I said, this is number one. You can see it right up there, number one. And this was published originally in, there was a sticker from Thrift Books on the side, and unfortunately it ripped the cover a bit when I was taking it off, which makes me very upset. But this was originally published in 1982. And I did read this book for my 40 Years of Harlequin project a couple of years ago. It was good. There was, there was, I mean, it was 82. There was some, some questionable scenes involving some dubious consent, perhaps. But you know, I, I'm not forgiving that. I would never forgive that. It's it's never a good thing. But you kind of got to remember when these were written, right? So yeah, but it's, it's kind of fun to have this one and the fact that I was able to read it. The next one I have, we jump quite a ways from number one to book number 714. And this is Where There Is Love by Annette Broderick. This is part of the Man of the Month series. And this is May of 1992. So we jump an entire decade from the first one that I have. I've not read this one yet, but you guys know I pick these up, you know, at any thrift store that I see. The older, the better. And uh, yeah, I really, really love them. Um, next up, we have number 1992. And, is that right? No, number 725. That's the year. Number 725. This came out in December of 92. And this is Robin's uh, Sophie's Attic by Robin Elliott. I've read this one as well. I believe this was also part of my 40 Years of Harlequin project. Um, so it's about a woman whose father is gunned down in the line of duty. And there is, is no, yeah, in the line of duty. And she becomes the killer's next target. And there is a policeman who is kind of being her bodyguard. And it was really cute. This is 1992. Um, next up, we have... Um, number 1284 and this is marriage for sale by carol divine um, a book in the bridal bid series clearly a um cowboy romance this one was published originally in march of 2000 have not read it yet next up i don't know why but this one sticks out in my mind um as a desire novel and i haven't even read it yet and i really need to because this has probably been in my collection for a decade um, and this is number 1588 and it's called Wild in the Moonlight and it's by Jennifer Green and it's uh, a book in the Scent of Lavender series. Now I'm pretty sure this one is an age gap romance. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I can't absolutely, maybe I did. I think I may have read this a decade ago, but I'm just not remembering it. But something in my head is telling me this is an age gap romance. But like I said, it's number 1588 in the series and this was published in June of 2004. And you can still see that way back when these were still under the silhouette banner. Um, the next one that we have, I have read this one as well, is The Once and Future Prince by Olivia Gates. This is number 1942, came out in May of 09. So we jump quite a bit through these that I do not have a lot of the older ones, but I'm looking to get my hands on them. So yeah, this one is, um, he's the prince or the, he's set to be king of some small Eastern European you know, fake, 
fake country and he needs um a queen and i think they knew each other when they were younger i really can't remember it's been a, it's been a, a year or so since i read this one um but yeah this one was cute um next up we have wyoming wedding by sarah orwig this is number 1947 and it came out in june of 09 it's another cowboy one stetsons and ceos is the um is the series and you can see down here i don't know if it'll focus on that for you guys hold on let me cover my own face and see if it'll focus on that so that's how they were printing um the uh the number in the series along with the date and i really think it was very much on brand for this series because these were very these have always been you know like ceos and millionaires and billionaires and that very opulent lifestyle and that is really showing, of course, in the newer books that are coming out as well. So this is this that's been its brand essentially since right from the beginning. So I kind of love I wish they still did that because I think it's kind of delightful. Um, it's the little things, you know what I mean? So the next one, we have A Scandal So Sweet by Anne Major. Um, this one is 2167 from July of 2012. So again, they it does not have it on the front like I just showed you but it does have it up here on the side. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, at this point now, they were under the Harlequin banner. So yeah, have not read this one yet. Got a cowboy. I need to get to it. Um, next up, we have The Secret Heir of Sunset Ranch. This is by Charlene Sands. This is part of the Slades of Sunset, Sunset Ranch series. And it's number 2263. It's from November of 2018. So again, quite a jump. Um, but yeah looks cute and then this one is her return to king's bed by maureen child maureen child charlene sands um who's the other one and major a lot of these authors have written a ton for the desire line so um this is part of the kings of california series and this is number 2269 from december of 2013 wait did i give the wrong date on the last one i'm sorry this was november of 2013 it's it's you know, it's been read, so it's kind of hard to read those tiny numbers. So yeah, 2013. Sorry, my mistake. So yeah, so there are those ones. Let, just let me do a little shift here so I can fit everything on this little table in front of me. <laughs> I'll just hold these in my lap. All right, so the next one that we have is Just One More Night by Fiona Brand. This is part of the Pearl House series, number 2285, February of 2014. And then we have the great Brenda Jackson, uh, The Real Thing um, by Brenda Jackson. This is uh, another book in the Westmoreland, Westmorelands series. She's very well known for these. Number 2287, March of 2014. And the sticker actually would come off, but I just left it on there because it says it's a Harlequin recommended read. So I don't know if they were doing that for certain books at the time or what, but I thought I'd keep it on there. Um, the next one we have is Seducing His Princess by Olivia Gates. This is part of the Married by Royal Decree by Royal Decree series, number 2290, also March of 2014. Again, even back then they had gorgeous, gorgeous covers. I think they've always been kind of well known for their covers. We have Suddenly Expecting by Paula Rowe. That one's really pretty. This is 2291, again, March of 2014. So I have a good chunk of them from March of that year for some reason. They must have been dropped off at a thrift store together. You know, when I when I find runs of the books that all have the same date or are within numerical order of each other, I always just figure somebody was cleaning out something and they dropped all their books off. <laughs> then we have, this one's really pretty, Her Secret Husband by Andrea Lawrence. This is part of the Secrets of Eden series. Here is beautiful uh number 2332 from october of 2014 a christmas one and i have read this one but it's been a number of years so i don't absolutely remember but this one was definitely a a boss secretary kind of a romance and this was the boss's mistletoe mistletoe maneuvers by linda thomas sunstrom beautiful beautiful cover on that one great christmas cover and uh, seduction in a santa claus suit it says on the back so 2339 is the number on this one and it's november of 2014. and then we have carrying a king uh, i can talk carrying a king's child by kathleen gabrera 
This is part of the Dynasties, the Montrose series. So the Dynasties is a long running series and they are still doing them now. I think one of the most recent ones was the Seven Sins series where essentially they follow like an entire family. And usually each book in the series is written by a different author. And they're a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. Um, and I highly recommend them. And this is number 2378 from June of 2015. Another holiday one, super pretty. A White Wedding Christmas, again by Andrea Lawrence. This is part of the Brides and Bells series. Look how pretty that cover is. Look at her dress. Oh, it's gorgeous. So this is number 2416, December of 2015. That's when that one came out. Uh, we have here the great Maisie Yates. Um, oh, I just love her books. And we have Take Me Cowboy by Maisie Yates. This is a Cooper Ridge, no or Copper Ridge novel. And it's number 2437, and it came out in April of 2016. Gotta love Maisie Yates. Oh, she's so fabulous. Um, and then we have Cat Shields, Secret Child Royal Scandal. This is part of the Sheridana Royal series. This is another one that I've read. Um, he, They've been friends since they were younger. He's the crown prince. And they had a relationship, and she ended up pregnant. Um, yeah, it says right here on the back, the prince must produce an heir. Little does he know he already has. So yeah, this one was cute. I liked it. And the last one for this video is going to be The CEO Daddy Next Door by Karen Booth. Um, this is number 2465 from August of 2016. So yeah, so there's that one. Have not read this one yet. He wants a mother for his child. She won't settle down. And now they're living together, it says on the back. So yeah, this is an X ex Toronto library book <laughs> that I picked up for a quarter. Um, they have the carts, you know, and I always look at those to see. So yeah. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Like I said, next Friday um, will be the second half or the, the remainder of my desire novels, including a lot of the newer ones that I have. And uh, yeah, I hope that you will join us, join me for that. And until my next video, everybody take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys.